Welcome to my July monthly reset. It has been a while. So if you are new here, my name is Monica Denias and I'm a therapist and I create content on all things mental health, wellness, lifestyle, and I really need this reset. I feel like June was just, I don't know, it just like came and went. Like I don't know what happened in June. I felt really tired and disconnected and I don't know if it was I was trying to increase my steps I was trying to do a lot and things kind of slowed down in my business so I think that also just like affected overall like my mental health so I am ready for a reset so the way I start things is just by going over my previous goals slash habits how I did there and then as well as talk about new goals new habits things that I want to accomplish for the following month I typically do a reflection and just tell you a little bit about my monthly favorites for the month. So here we go. Let's go ahead and get started with just how I did in terms of my habits. So I do have June habits here and I'll put like a picture right here. Hopefully you guys can see it. But yeah, so for the month of June, I was really focusing on continuing to get 6,000 steps daily. For the most part, I did really well. Like I'm filming this on June 27th. So we still have just like a few days. I really did a good amount in terms of like for the entire month, like sticking to my steps habit. And then journaling, I did that every day, which is part of like my routine. And then workouts. I started with a new fitness coach. I use this app called Trainwell, which is formerly known as Copilot, where you get paired up with a coach and they customize the workouts for you. So I actually started with the new coach, I want to say May and then like end of May. And so for June, I was just trying to getting used to the workouts, which I was just doing full body workouts, which were amazing, but were also very challenging because I was also increasing my steps or like staying on top of my steps. So I really didn't get to do a lot of workouts this week. I honestly just felt super tired this month. I mean, yeah, like overall this month, I just felt tired. So I don't know if it was like my nutrition part, if it was just like the workouts were a little bit more challenging than usual. I'm not sure, but I only only was able to do about you know two workouts a week I didn't even go to Pilates I went to Pilates once this month which I'm I love Pilates I try to do that every Friday like go to a workout class and I honestly just couldn't my sleep schedule was totally off I was still able to do everything that I wanted to accomplish that day but I just felt so much like higher than normal. So I'm not sure what's going on there. So I really want to prioritize just my energy in July. And then as far as walks, I did do a lot more walks. I did more walks outside because I was feeling like my mental health wasn't the greatest. I wanted to be outside and that really did help. But yeah, like I'm still trying to figure out like how to get out of this funk because June was definitely just not it for mental health wise. But yeah, let's get to July uh, goal. So I'll add some of my July goals right here. I'm really excited because I feel like I don't want to put too many goals because it is the summer. I'm trying to enjoy it. So what I'm going to do is just stick to a couple of goals, kind of make extensions of those goals. I did talk about this in my summer reset mid-year review of my annual goals. So for sure, check that out so you could see just like what I mean when I'm doing extensions of my goals. So my next goal for the month of July is to get 6.5 steps a day. So that's adding an additional 500 steps a day than my usual mark. Um, and 6K for me has already been challenging. So I'm really hoping that I could get it accomplished. So get 6.5 steps a day. Then my next goal is to try a new workout class. I wanted to do this for the month of June. But like I said, going to work at classes was non-existent for that month. So we want to definitely try a new workout class, whether that is a dance class, a spin class, or maybe a Pilates reformer class, or just a different kind of class than I usually do. And then I want to continue to stick to a caloric deficit. So I did talk about this in that mid-year goal review video. Uh, I am doing a caloric deficit for the next three months. I've actually started this since, I want to say, yeah, April. I was in a caloric defi deficit April. I want to continue this. I've already reached my three-month goal, and now I want to 
do the next three months. And so that's what I've been doing. I've just kind of been doing it in three months to not overwhelm myself. But I'll give you more details on a, another video where I talk all about my wellness routine. But yeah, I'm going to do stick to a caloric deficit and then I want to decrease my average phone screen time. And I think that's what really affected me in June. I think that I was on my phone like so much. Like I just want to share, let me share with you like how much, yeah, my daily average my daily average screen time was six hours and 50 minutes. That's about seven hours. Was it productive stuff? Absolutely not. Like I was just consuming a lot and I don't really like that. I think that's where when I know I'm not doing really well mental health wise, like I know my screen time ends up increasing. So I really want to get a handle on that and get it down to three to four hours a day. So we will figure that out. Maybe I'll do a video on, you know, what I plan to do to decrease that amount. But it was definitely a challenging month. So I want to prioritize decreasing my average phone screen time. And then I want to finish reading the Akatar series. I just started the series and I breezed through that first book and now I'm in the second book. So I'm really excited to maybe just finish the series for the month of July or just stick to that. Kind of taking a break from thrillers and things like that again when I'm not in a good mental health space like reading thrillers and things like that just makes me more anxious. So something like fantasy just good feeling kind of vibe like action oriented fantasy is really good for me. So I'm really excited. But yeah those are all the goals for the month of July. There's a little bit of goals like outcome based goals and then also just habit-based goals. So I typically track that on my habit tracker. I got the habit tracker from Etsy and I will show that in the next month just like how I did. But again, this feels like a lot more realistic for the summer. As far as reflection, I feel like I've been sharing with you guys just how I felt in June. It's not, I don't really feel like I had a lot of wins. I well, there was a win. I did get asked back to speak in a like a membership group, which was really great. So that was really nice. And as far as other wins, I did get some new clients. So that was, again, really good too. But other than that, I just felt like June was an L. Like it just wasn't great for me. Um, so I'm really hoping that I just have more fun in July and enjoy the summer. And I am a Leo. So hopefully towards the end of July, I'm in my Leo energy because my confidence has not been the best. Um, but yeah, I've just, I'm just trying to push through and figure this out and get out of a funk. But that's as far as like reflection goes. I usually put reflection questions, but to be honest, I have journaled so much that I'm like done reflecting. Like I, there's just been so many like complex emotions that I've been feeling. So it, I, I don't know. I think I'll feel a lot better in the month of July as I'm focusing a lot more on just taking care of myself. Now I want to share just like Fave, new favorites, things that I'm changing up. So I wanted to share my new journal and planner. I typically use the Hustle Stanley products, but I forgot to order them. Like I only have one more quarterly planner and there's four quarters. So I decided because of that, I am going to try a new planner for a, the quarter and also a new journal, which I'm really excited because I think when I'm in a funk, I just want a change. Like I want something different for my routine. I felt like it would just like the same routine and sometimes that can get boring. So I am doing this new journal, which is called the Sad to Savage Journal. And we could see that the Sad to Savage journal and it is a very basic journal it is uh, from the creator Shelby Sacco she has a she has a, a podcast that I really love and enjoy and she talks all about habits so basically it is just a gratitude and affirmations journal you just have let's see if you could see that there so just I am and then you just write affirmations and then the next page is today let's see Today I am grateful for, and you just try gratitude. So very simple. I'm really excited to do this. And it's a lot more simple than the other journal that I was using. I love that other journal, which is the Peacefully Productive Journal. But I just wanted something a little bit more simple and just really just focusing on gratitude and affirmation. So that is the journal that I'll be using for the month. And then this is the quarterly planner that I'm using. It is from the brand Ramona and Ruth and it is a small business 
Um, I'm really excited to use this. I have never heard of this brand. I think I've seen them on like Barnes & Noble or something. Like they've had a couple of things in Barnes & Noble. But basically it has a place to put your annual goals. It has like a yearly, let's see, yearly review. And then I really like this where this is where I'm going to put my goals that I just mentioned. I'm going to write them out. Let's see if you can see that. Can you see that? Okay. Yeah, so this is where I'm going to write all of my goals, my my quarterly focus. And then it just has like a daily and weekly uh, planner. So it has like you can do your monthly overview. You could do your weekly overview, which I like, and then daily planning because I've been really loving like planning my day. So really excited for those sections. Like this is, I think, the daily planner. Hopefully it focuses. Yeah, this is the daily planner. Ooh. There you go. So I'm really excited for these two. And I will let you know, I love being able to support creators, creators, businesses. And I'm really excited about these two. And it's pink, um, which is so fun. And then as far as other favorites, I wanted to just shout out some of the creators that I have been watching. Like I said, I've been consuming a lot. But these are creators that honestly, I consume and I feel better about. When I talk about like, consuming and it just feels overwhelming is I have been scrolling on Instagram reels which defeats the purpose because I had deleted TikTok back in November of 2023 and I feel like I've just been creating a bad habit with Instagram reels so these are not the creators that I feel are making me feel a certain way or anything if anything these are creators that inspire me and have really got me motivated to just focus on my wellness and that is uh, Jasmine Shaw I have binged all of her vlogs on YouTube she also has a podcast which I'll put right here and I'll also put everything down in the description but she is just so calm so grounded I really enjoy her stuff like I honestly feel like she should be a bigger creator and I'm really excited for her I hope that she ends up growing because she deserves like so much for you know her content and then my next favorite is Bria Jones she has a podcast that I really enjoy it's called because I love you I think that's what it is and really been enjoying her content as well during my walks and then baby hey is another person on YouTube that I really love and enjoy her vlogs and then Caitlin Nolan again has another vlogger on YouTube that I really enjoy so those are all the creators that I have just been really enjoying consuming consuming their content and it really keeps me motivated to create more content. It actually inspired me to create a new series called the Early 30s Wellness Diaries. I did ask you guys to vote and most of you said we're between early 30s and wellness diaries and I figured why not put both. Let me know if that's just too long of a title but I really think that I really want to focus about wellness in my early 30s and definitely talk about other you know topics as well but I'm really excited about that vlog series. It's going to be separate from my day in the life of a therapist videos because I love those videos, but there's more to me than just being a therapist. And so I definitely would love to show parts of my life in that way. So that's a new series here. It's going to be like the first episode. It should be coming out in July. So I'm really excited. And then as far as like my next books that I've been that I'm gonna read is like I said I'm gonna continue reading uh, the Akatar series and currently I'm at a Court of Mist and Fury that's the second book and then I don't typically read personal development books but I really want to read this book I really love this author and this book is called Drama Free a guide to managing unhealthy family relationships and it's from Miss Nidra Clo- Glover Tawab Tawab and she wrote the book on setting boundaries that I always rave about. So really excited to read this. I kind of do it where in the mornings I read a personal development book and then in the evenings I'll read my fiction book. So I did end up finishing um, Why Did Nobody Tell Me This? And that was a really, really good book. And I'm going to put it down below because I really think that you would benefit from reading it. But yeah, that is 
all. I hope that you guys enjoyed just a a brief little catch up with me with my new goals for July and let me know what your goals are for July or is this are you prioritizing rest in the season? Are you trying to be more productive? Let me know down below in the comments. If you love videos like this, consider subscribing to the channel. I will see you in my next video.